Thoroughbred Action is presented by Hardacre Farm. Hello, everybody, and once again, welcome to another exciting edition of Thoroughbred Action from Gulfstream Park West. Day one of the 2016 Breeders' Cup World Thoroughbred Championships here today. Ten races on the local side of things. So for now, let's get you caught up on the track and weather conditions. We start the afternoon with another fast main track and a firm turf course. Temperatures today in the low 80s. First race of the afternoon on the turf at five furlongs. Claimers in for a price tag of $16,000. Scratch number two, Contractor Jack. Six went to the gate. The favorite was outside. Number seven, Morning Brew. All set. And they're off at Gulfstream Park West. Bit of a slow start for cap in hand. Pioneer Pete out for the front, up on the outside, Morning Brew, and now rushed at the rail is very colorful as those three will battle for that lead. And now a fourth one up in the mix is Run for the Woods has now put a nose in front. So it's Run for the Woods and very colorful, the top two. Pioneer Pete settles back now in the third spot, Morning Brew in fourth. Persian Poet is about five lengths off those leaders and the trailer cap in hand as the battle continues around the far turn run for the woods is put away very colorful who begins to fade out of it pioneer pete is ranging up from the second spot morning brew's been a bit wide as they've got less than a quarter mile to go persian poet running on with cap in hand run for the woods with the lead Pioneer Pete right up on the outside. Pioneer Pete now puts a nose in front. Very colorful's gotten back into it. Morning Brew. Here come the come from behind her's Persian Poet and Cap in hand trying to mow them all down. Pioneer Pete's got the lead. Very colorful on the inside. Late run cap in hand. It's Pioneer Pete to win. Very colorful finish second. Photo for third between Morning Brew and cap in hand in 57 and two. Number six, Pioneer Pete has been a new racehorse since moving to five furlongs over the turf and he gets a victory in today's first race at odds of four to one under jockey Luca Panici for trainer Mickey Kroger and Maurice Miller, LLC. Number one, very colorful, came on to be second ahead of four cap in hand who had to settle for third. To the second race we go, the start of the 50 cent early pick four, six furlongs the journey and allowance optional claiming event. Scratch number two, Tripocha, a field of five, the favorite from the rail, the classy El Deal. And they're off to an even break. Dreaming of gold up on the outside. Dan Berry's right there in between runners. And here comes El Deal at the rail. It's gonna be El Deal and Edgar Zayas to take the lead. Dan Berry back in second, Dreaming of gold in third. Spring Myers in the fourth spot, about two and a half to three lengths off that leader, and it's far, far back right now to the trailer. Aces for John. El Deal has the lead, four furlongs left to go. Danbury right there in second. Spring Meyer continues to progress now at the rails, moved into the third spot. Dreaming of gold. The gray is back in fourth. Still a gap back to Aces for John as they move into the far turn. L Deal has now widened the margin a bit. Spring Myers dropped back now into the third position. Danbury back into second. Dreamy of Gold still fourth. Aces for John still the trailer. L Deal the one to catch. Confident look back for Zayas and L Deal has the lead. Spring Meyer trying to challenge for that second spot with Danbury. Dreamy of Gold with some late run, but L Deal is up by two. Spring Meyer starts to run on again, but L Deal with a 16th to go is still up by two. Spring Meyer with a late lunch. Here comes Spring Meyer outside of L Deal, but L Deal's done enough, but L Deal wins. Spring Meyer finished second, Danbury third, Dreamy of Gold fourth, then 109 flat. El Deal just too good for him in today's second race, takes him coast to coast and finishes up at 109 flat for a sharp victory under Edgar Zayas for Passion Stables and Francisco D'Angelo. Number three, Springmeyer completes a formful exacta ahead of five, Danbury, who finished third. Don't go away, we'll take a brief time out. There's more great racing action from Gulfstream Park West right after this. Back now for the third race, five furlongs over the turf. Claimers in for a price tag of $8,000. Scratch number one, Don's Girl. Rider change on seven, Dulce Surprise to Luca Panici. The favorite was number three, Princess Dom. And they're off. From the outside, Julieta Q, Dulce Surprise, break well. First Dixie's in the third position. Moving up at the rail is Princess Dom. In between those runners is Talitha Coombe. 
Second to last right now is in Dominance and the trailer, Great South Bay as they move towards the far turn. It's Julieta Q with a head in front, Dolce Surprise right there in second, Princess Dom at the rail in third, Talitha Coombe dropping back into the fourth spot. First Dixie is losing some ground as well. Indominus and Great South Bay are the trailers. Julieta Q and something has gone amiss with Dolce Surprise who's being pulled out of the race. It's Julieta Q who's got the lead. Princess Dom is now running up into that second spot. And here comes Princess Dom to take the lead. Julieta Q fights right back. Talitha Coombe making up some ground at the rail. First Dixie, here comes Indominus out wide. Indominus has run and Indominus is trying to mow them all down. Princess Dom got the jump. First Dixie, Indominus running out wide, but it's gonna be Princess Dom to win. Indominus finished second, first Dixie third. Julieta Q fourth, then Talitha Coombe finished fifth. Then one, 58 seconds flat. Favorite backers were not disappointed in today's third race as number three, Princess Dom, shakes loose inside the final furlong to get the score under jockey Roberto Alvarado Jr. for trainer Antonio Alzano and Vicente Stella Stable. Number five, Indomina shook loose to get second ahead of eight, first Dixie. She plotted a wide course but got up for third. To the fourth race we go at seven furlongs. Claimers in for a price tag of $30,000. A race for a purse of $22,000. Rider change on five, King Rontos to John Cruz. The heavy favorite, number six, Ranger in Paradise. And they're off. Horse spotter Carl spotted the field about five lengths off slowly. Ranger in Paradise right out to the front. The favorite, Ranger in Paradise right to the lead. Game lad in second, King Rontos is trying to apply some pressure now coming up in between rivals. And now to take the lead, put ahead in front of Ranger in Paradise who's back to second, Game lad in third. Moving up at the rail is Giant Inca into the fourth spot outside of that is Whip and Nene. In behind them is second to last Woodburn and the slow starting horse spotter Carl as they move down the back stretch. King Rontos still with a head in front, Game Lad in second. Ranger in Paradise backed off of that early pace but is still under a snug hold in the third position, three wide. Giant Inca moving up at the rail in fourth in the yellow, Whip and Nene being shoved along from fifth. In behind them is horse spotter Carl in the trailer is now Woodburn as they move into the far turn. King Rontos has the lead, but for how long is here comes Ranger in Paradise, easing up to that pace setter. King Rontos back to second. Game Lad is gonna switch to the outside now. Giant Inca with some run, Whip and Nene. Ranger in Paradise has the lead and Ranger in Paradise is gonna be very tough to catch from here. Ranger in Paradise is up by three. Giant Inca and Whip and Nene look like they're battling for second. Game Lad is in the mix, King Rontos, but it's all Ranger in Paradise. Gives Zayas another one today. Ranger in Paradise dominates. Giant Inca finished second, Whip and Nene third. Game Lad finished fourth. It's close for fifth and one, 22 flat. Number six, Ranger in Paradise shows a new dimension in today's fourth race as he sat off the early skirmish and kicked on to win it under jockey Edgar Zayas for trainer Angel Rodriguez and owner Frank Calavarese. Second was one, Giant Inca. Third was two, Whip and Nene. Race number five on the program was the last leg of the early pick five. Five furlongs over the turf. Claimers in for a $16,000 price tag. Made a field of eight. The favorites included one, Lady Master, and three, April Rose. And they're off. Even break. Lady Master has asked for speed from the rail. Two-step floor is right there, so is some roar. Zero out is moving up on the outside. A scramble on for the lead. It's going to be two-step floor, a neck in front. Some roar back to second, three wide. Zero out in third, Lady Master in fourth. April Rose is moving up into that fourth spot. Just passing Lady Master in behind them is Apache Queen. Second to last is Peggy Joyce and the trailer, Cajun Queen. As they move into the far turn, pressured lead, two-step floor, had to work to get it. But two-step floor up by a half length as now moving in between runners is April Rose. And April Rose has moved into stocking position and is coming after the leader. Some roars dropping back to third, Lady Master in the red cap with some run, but April Rose has now taken command. April Rose is now putting away two-step floor, some roar, Lady Master, the rest with a lot of running to do. Peggy Joyce, maybe Cajun Queen on late, but it's April Rose who's now opening up and April Rose is up by a length and a half. Two-step floor game second, April Rose wins. Two-step floor finished second, Summer Roar finished third, 
photo for fourth between Lady Master and Peggy Joyce in 57 seconds flat. Number three, April Rose was ready to roll off the extended vacation and powers to the score under jockey Tyler Gaffleone for trainer Steve Claseris and owner Steve Claseris and Lily Claseris. Number four, two slip floor returns to form when switched to the turf to be second and a five some roar. Another comebacker, she finished a good third. The early pick four today, a formful $15.30. The early pick five, $49.65 for just a 50 cent wager. We'll take a break. We'll be back with more great racing action from Gulfstream West right after this timeout. for horses and a commitment to breed champions is the foundation of Hardacre Farm. Founded in 1999 by Amy Tarrant, owner, breeder, and trainer, Hardacre Farm, now based in Ocala, continues its tradition of success. From the Breeders' Cup to Gulfstream Park, Hardacre Farm, from the breeding shed to the racetrack, in pursuit of producing the best. We're back now for race number six on the program. Maiden Claimers in for a price tag of $10,000. They raced six furlongs. It was the start of the late pick five. Sprouter change on three, Lucky Max to Jose Garcia. The favorites included five, Little Quiet, and six, Mine Again. And they're off. Jewels of the Nile breaks well, so does Southern Touch up on the outside. Little Quiet in the mix as well. And here comes Manana as they scramble for that early lead. Manana's on the inside. In between runners, Little Quiet. Up on the outside, mine again, and now You're My Destiny is now taking control. It's You're My Destiny, half-length lead. Little Quiet in second, Manana in third, mine again in behind that. Gone West Express is in the fifth spot. Jill's catch, wide trip for Southern Touch, moving up outside of horses. In behind them is Jules of the Nile, who's dropped back a bit. That one's followed by Member in the Red Silks. Lady Greatness, second to last, Narima, and the trailer, Lucky Max, as they move into the far turn. You're My Destiny now awaits the challenge from Little Quiet up on the outside. Mine again is in there. Southern Touch with some running. Gone West Express is going to try and circle those runners as well. Manana is dropping back. Jill's catch. You're my destiny with the lead. Little Quiet trying to hang tough. Southern Touch up on the outside. Mine again. Gone West Express has been very wide. Manana trying to re-rally. Jill's catch. Southern Touch has the lead. You're my destiny is not done. Here comes Lady Greatness from far back, but Southern Touch has asserted to the front, and Southern Touch is opening up by a length and a half. Southern Touch to win. Got tight for second, Gone West Express in You're My Destiny, and also got tight for fourth between Lady Greatness and Little Quiet in 112 and four. Number 12, Southern Touch. It continues to improve, and she improves enough to get the maiden score on the jockey Jonathan Gonzalez, her trainer Augustin Bazzara, and ABC Racing. Number eight, Gone West Express, plotted a wide course, but closed for second. Ahead of four, You're My Destiny. First timer showed speed, but could not hold on. She finished third. To the seventh race now at seven and a half furlongs over the turf course. We have claimers in for a price tag of $25,000. These are maidens. Scratch number nine, Tom Liz. The favorites were six, Contramar, and seven, Cousin Tino. And they're off. Awesome Bay and Bodie Dog break well. So does Cousin Tino trying to drop down from the outside. And so does Son of Greatness. As it's going to be Awesome Bay and Son of Greatness out to the front. Son of Greatness from the wide outside post now gets to the front. Awesome Bay in second, Cousin Tino in third. Bodie Dogs dropped off of that early pace, now in the fourth spot, individuality in between runners. At the rail is My Armageddon, up on the outside of individuality is Contormar and the trailer. Granabadio, a son of greatness, got to the lead and is now pumped up, up by about four. Awesome Bay and Cousin Tino, content to let that pace setter travel. As it's Cousin Tino now taking the second spot. Contormar is moving up outside of Rivals. A bit wide right now, but has taken the third spot. Awesome Bay, individuality, is in fifth and in a tight spot in between runners. Bodie Dog is dropping back a bit. My Armageddon and Granabadio's the trailer as they've gotten much closer to Son of Greatness. And Cousin Tino presents the challenge. Cousin Tino now within a head. Contormar is trying to follow that move from the third spot. Awesome Bay, individuality. 
tough trip so far is trying to get up outside of that rival in the fifth spot. Bodie Dog running on my Armageddon. Granabadio at the back. Son of Greatness has found a little bit more in the lead. Son of Greatness now back in front. Cousin Tino hasn't gotten by yet. Contormar in third. My Armageddon running on. Son of Greatness is now widening the margin a bit. Son of Greatness has the lead. Here coming on the outside is Contormar. Contormar looks like the only one with a shot. Son of Greatness trying to do it wire to wire. Son of Greatness holding on. Contormar late. Oh, it's a photo. Contormar lunge right at the wire. Son of Greatness in a tight photo between those two. Cousatino back to third and one, 32 and three. Things got a little dicey inside the final furlong if you back the favorite Contormar, but she got up for the victory under jockey Edgar Zayas for trainer Antonio Sano. That's doubles for that connection here today. Owned by Cloud9 Lamoni, Contamar up to win it. Big price for second, eight son of greatness ahead of seven, Cousin Tino, who finished third. On now to the eighth race, six furlongs of the journey. Claimers in for a $12,500 price tag. Scratch two, India Tara Humara. The betting favorite on the class drop, number one, Grandma Maria. And they're off. Lolly breaks well from the outside, so does Lady Chella in between runners. And here comes Kaya in the blue silks. Will now take the third position. Scrap the Maddenade is in between runners now taking fourth. Outside of that one's Tanya's Pride. Tightly at the rail is Grandma Maria. As they're bunched up in the trailer is driving Mrs. B. Lady Chella has now taken the lead. Lady Chella only up by about a half length as Tanya's Pride has run up in between runners and Tanya's Pride now takes the second spot. Lolly re-engages from the outside from third. Grandma Maria is in the fourth spot. Kaya's dropping back. Scrap the mandate coming up outside of that one. And driving Mrs. B is still the trailer. Tanya's pride has now taken the lead. Lady Chella begins to back out of it a bit. Lolly presents the challenge up on the outside as Tanya's pride is now ahead in front and is doing it well as they approach the quarter mile mark. Lolly up on the outside. Grandma Maria's got some run as well. Scrap the mandate. Kaya re-rallying. Driving Mrs. B's got to pass them all. Tanya's pride with the lead. Lolly right there to the outside. And Lolly and Tanya's pride throwing it down. Grandma Maria's running on out wide and driving Mrs. B. Lolly and Tanya's pride. Tanya's pride fighting back. But here comes Grandma Maria up on the outside. Lolly and, L Lolly and Tanya's pride. Grandma Maria gets up to win. Tight for second between Tanya's Pride and Lolly. Also getting in that photo was driving Mrs. B. It was one, 13, and one. Number one, Grandma Maria was five to one, fourth choice on the morning line, but she was pounded by the public and pounded for good reason as she was up to the task running by the leaders inside the 16th pole under jockey Louis Castillo for trainer Juan Andreas Rodriguez and owners LC Racing Corp. Eight, Lolly wins the photo for second ahead of seven, Tanya's Pride third. Five, driving Mrs. B got loose too late and ran on for fourth. Don't go away. The late daily double from Gulfstream Park West comes your way after this brief timeout. Next January, 12 horses, a million dollar buy-in for a $12 million purse. It is the world's richest race. It is the Pegasus World Cup. We're back for the ninth race, the first half of the late daily double. Claimers in for a $30,000 price tag. Scratch number five, Miss Dude, eight to the gate. Odds on choice, two, Golden Delicious. And they're off. Ferris finally breaks well, so does Bolt Empress and Marmalade on the inside. It's going to be Marmalade. And now Golden Delicious asks for a bit of speed as well, but here up on the outside is Great Euphrates as they go around the bend. Marmalade on the inside and Great Euphrates. Those two out for the lead. Now Great Euphrates asserts and Great Euphrates is up by a length. Marmalade back to second. Golden Delicious settles in third. Outside of that is Kenitra. Smart Romance in the blue cap will be in fifth. Bolt Empress keeping that one hemmed in. Beerus finally is second to last in the trailer. Baby, I'm worth it as they move around that first turn. Great Euphrates showing the way. 
Great Euphrates up by a length. Marmalade tips off the rail, now sits in second. Golden Delicious will take that spot at the rail, moves up at third. Kenitra is in fourth. Smart Romance traveling okay in the fifth spot. Bolt Empress outside of that. Still second to last is Vera's finally. And the trailer, baby, I'm worth it. Great Euphrates trying to go all the way. Marmalade set to challenge from second. Golden Delicious still at the rail in third. Kenitra up on the outside in fourth. Smart Romance is gonna need a way through. Bolt Empress now being passed by Vera's finally who's progressing and baby, I'm worth it as they move to the far turn. Great Euphrates still with a head in front. Marmalade is now given the cue and Marmalade is now running right by Great Euphrates. Golden Delicious is trying to follow that move. Smart Romance is looking for some room as well. Kenitra up on the outside with some run, but it's Marmalade at the top of the stretch. But here comes Golden Delicious, who tipped off the rail, and Golden Delicious has taken the lead. Marmalade back to second. Kenitra, Smart Romance finally getting some run now. Vera's finally has got a lot to do. Golden Delicious has opened up. Marmalade back to second. Golden Delicious up by three. Great trip for Zayas and Pletcher again. Golden Delicious wins. Marmalade finished second. Kenitra third. Closer fourth and one, 44 and one. Number two, Golden Delicious had to need her last race and she proves that was true as she kicks on for an easy score as the betting favorite in race number nine. Edgar Zayas notches his fourth winner of the afternoon. Trained by Todd Pletcher and owned by Head of Plains Partners and James Cabello, Golden Delicious, your even money choice. Final race on the Friday program on turf at seven and a half furlongs, mating claimers in for a price tag of $10,000. We had a scratch in this race of number two, Scorpion Dancer, the baby betting choice from the rail, the New Jersey Invader, for one variety of color. And they're off. You can do magic through her head up at the start. Variety of colors breaks out to the front. Ms. BVI in second. Kitten Star will take third. No hurry as they go towards that first turn. Trying to drop down from the outside is Joyful Spirit. Toro Femme's going to be carried a bit wide, about five wide into that first turn. Saving some ground on the inside was Megatoni. In behind that runner is Can It Be. That one's followed and now passed by Silver Casino. And the trailers are You Can Do Magic and Sacred Entry. As they move towards the back stretch, Variety of Colors has the lead, but about to get some company as Toro Femme has come up on the outside with Kitten Star as they travel as a team. Ms. BVI doesn't want to get up in that pace. Now drops back to the fourth position, about two lengths clear of Mega Tony, who's progressing from fifth. Silver Casino is in behind that. That one's followed by Joyful Spirit. It's a gap of about another six lengths. Back to You Can Do Magic, second to last. Can it be? And the trailer, Sacred Entry, as they move into the far turn. Variety of colors with a half-length lead, but Toro Femme is challenging right from the outside. Variety of colors still travels well on the inside. Toro Femme can't make up the margin yet. Mega Tony's got some run, and Mega Tony's coming out wide. Ms. BVI's got to get going from there. Silver Casino, you can do magic running on. Variety of colors, the one to catch. Variety of colors up by a length and a half. Toro Femme can't cut into the margin. Mega Tony is rolling up on the outside. Ms. BVI with some late run. You can do magic is running a big one, but Variety of Colors has a 16th to go. Here comes Mega Tony catching with the strides but variety of colors is finding more variety of colors to win mega tony finished second ms bbi third you can do magic and toro femme in a photo for fourth in one 33 flat number one variety of colors catches a field to her liking and she parlays it into a victory in race number 10 today for trainer tim hills and jockey nick juarez owned by larry fogel llc number six mega tony got up to be second ahead of uh, three miss bbi who finished third the late pick five today, good for $296.25. Multiple winners in the Rainbow Six sequence this afternoon. The 20 cent return, $512.38, triggers a Saturday carryover of $2,138.86. Well, that wraps up the Friday program from Gulfstream Park West. Join us again tomorrow. Breeders' Cup Saturday begins at 12 noon with 10 races on the program. If you are planning on joining us locally, we advise you to do so at Gulfstream Park as you'll be able to watch, wager, and win on all the action from Santa Anita Park. Here we'll be able to offer you the live racing card. And again, it begins at 12 noon, 10 races on the card. We thank you for joining us here this evening. We hope you enjoyed your time with us. We hope to see you again soon. Good night from Gulfstream Park West. Hit the hay. Hit the hay. I've been working all day. Hit the hay. Hit the hay. What do you say? Tell you, Jack, I'm so tired.